Who among us have not looked up in the sky and have looked at the stars and asked the fundamental questions of why we are here, how does this all work? A lot of scientists and engineers will have a passion, a dream that they want to see fulfilled. In that sense, we help their dreams come true. That's what the Oak Ridge National Laboratory brings to the table. I couldn't be more proud of the fact that Cray's been selected by the U.S. Department of Energy to deliver the Frontier Exascale Supercomputer to Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Frontier is our first exascale computing platform. That's one quintillion double precision adds or multiplies per second. So we've gone from millions to billions to trillions to quadrillions to quintillions. Frontier is going to change every aspect of our life and we'll be better for it. From an AMD standpoint, we have high-performance CPUs as well as high-performance GPUs, and they're really designed and integrated together in a custom environment that we developed in collaboration with both the scientists at Oak Ridge and Cray. And so we really are putting an incredible amount of computing horsepower in Frontier. We've been able to design a system from the ground up for the exascale era, and we call the system Shasta. We see this huge convergence between traditional modeling and simulation with big data analytics and artificial intelligence. So we needed to develop a system that could span these two different worlds. Most excited about Frontier because it is going to be truly a transformative machine. Building a supercomputer doesn't change the world in and of itself. It's only when we put it in the hands of scientists and engineers that they can use that system to change the world. From the very beginning, we can predict climate change. You can predict the path of hurricanes. You can build more lightweight cars. We can understand how to do gene therapy. You can have a reactor that doesn't consume as much of the fuel rod or doesn't give off as much waste. The hope is with designs like small modular reactors, we can bring nuclear back into a competitive economic environment. It can help us move away from our dependence on fossil fuels and help reduce carbon emissions throughout the world. We can create new pharmaceuticals because we can model and simulate these things with such precision. If computing is not a limitation, what biomedical problem would I like to work on? It's a mental paradigm shift, and that's what excites me. If we can prolong the disease appearing instead of 55 to 65, getting those 10 extra years of healthy life, it's more important than getting the seven months of longer life with cancer. I believe Frontier is a time machine. It allows you to leap forward 20 years and see a peak into the future that's about to unfold and then help you shape that future. It's incredibly special to work on something like Frontier. It really is an inflection point. This is computing that really matters to lots of people around the world every single day. And being a little part of that is just really incredibly rewarding.